All right, hello everybody. This is the bus driver, and I'm here to take you to school. We're back with some more NHL 16. Be a GM here in year eight or so. We just went through the trade deadline. We tried to pick up Patrick Kane, but unfortunately, Chicago's salary cap situation made that nearly impossible, and we would have had to give up way too much, which I wasn't looking to do. We had seven picks. I was willing to give him four of them, you know? But uh, not for the amount of salary they needed. So, that aside, that would I that might have put us over the edge if we'd done that. But that's all right. We will just continue here. Maybe we'll pick him up in free agency. That might not be a bad idea to do. Sign him for a year or two. Overtime win there against LA. Oh, yes, they're back from injury. Okay, so first was McKinnon, who is our 91 overall center and no longer growing, unfortunately, but. And we'll put Gautier in here. Oops. OTA. Pretty sure I've got that name right now, Chad. I'm sure you'll let me know. Same with the YouTube comments. You'll let me know if I've got his name right, finally. And McDonald's back as well. Godie's got a funny blue-colored hair. I think that's cool. Can't tell if it's just the light or if he did that on purpose. There we go, McDonald's back in. Cody McDonald. And we're going at Pepsi Center against Calgary. Big win there. Okay, let's see how we're doing for defensemen. Nine there, 13 there. We've already done nine. Let's do these forwards here. There's 10 of them. Oh yeah, big wins here. 44, 15, and 11. Ooh, Infinity has post-concussion syndrome. Oh, I don't want to change out Tange. That's not what I meant. Cody Cameron Tange. Hopefully it's the kid of Alex Tange. That'd be funny. Because Tange was drafted by the uh, Colorado Avalanche back in uh, 99. And he was drafted in 2020. So nearly 20 years later, yeah, that, that about works, right? If he had a kid when he was really young. It's funny. Uh, let's take a quick look at stats here. I think I skipped that last month since the All-Star break. Cameron Tongay, happy with the team. We all are. And let's see, we have clinched a playoff spot, not bad. Uh, in 70 games, our leading scorer is McKinnon with 58. So we could have definitely used some scoring out of Patrick Kane. Grumet Morris, 57, Duchesne, 56, Corstella, 53. Landy, 50, all right. So that's all of ours in the same ballpark. Not bad. Goatee's got 13 goals and 42 points on the third line. I like that. Grumit Morris has 29 goals. He's almost a 30 goal scorer for us. That's great. And Purcell's got a goal. What a way to go, buddy. Yeah, that's awesome. And let's see how our goalies are doing here. Uh, two shutouts each. Uh, Nedley's bringing his numbers down. I like that. I appreciate that. That's what we need out of him. Play like the elite goalie he is. Ooh, we are tied with Philly. They have more wins. We have more overtime losses. So there you go. That'll be a fight for the presence trophy there. We have more goals for. We have more goals against. Our power play is worse, and our PK is worse. So really, we're just lucky to be in the fight against them, I guess. I suppose. Uh, 
Lost to Calgary. It's all right. Not doing too bad here. Three more weeks to go. Keep beating these East teams. We've got to beat the West. There you go. Beat the West and then Philadelphia. That's what we need. Yeah, keep these wins coming. Ooh, all right. Two, four, five games against the West to go. Smalls has an injured elbow. Hopefully, no. He's not available to come back. Shoot. I have to put in Nicholas Malak here. Not that I want to, but now I have to do for now. All right. One more week to go here. Ooh, lost to LA. I don't like to see that. Goalies now. Let's see. None. Three. We need a goalie prospect, so that's our next look there. With one of those seven first-rounders, we'll pick a goalie up. Don't you worry, chat. There you go. Big wins. Two games to go. We're 15, 19, and 11. Ooh, 15, 19, and 12. How are we sitting here? We clinched the Presidents. We did it. We did it, chat. Presidents Trophy winners this year. It's a good start to the playoffs. I will gladly take it. Okay, let's see if we can't take this win too. Come on, clinch it. Yeah, there you go. Oh no. Oh, we lost our third guy. Shoot. Okay, we gotta call someone up. Who are we gonna call up though? Call up Peros. Call up Weir Koch. Uh, or Varakis is no waivers. Does he have waivers, Peros? No, good. We'll call up Peros. Hopefully just to uh, wait this out. Why did I pick a defenseman? I don't know. It's a good question. I probably shouldn't have. But I uh, figured this would be the easiest one to swap in and out. And we'll actually move Weirkosh up there. Put in Berglund. Why not? And move Weirkosh up. There you go. And of course, Schmaltz is back. Biggie Smalls is back. Okay. All right, let's put Biggie Smalls in here. And then we'll wait it out until one more guy comes back from injury. And we're going up against the Arizona Coyotes in the first round. Interesting. So let's take a look at this playoff tree here. Mini in St. Louis, Colorado, Arizona, San Jose, Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton. That's going to be a good series. And then Philly, Washington, New York, New York. That'll be a good series. Toronto, Buffalo. That'll be good as well. And then Tampa and Carolina. Man, good playoff uh, competitions here in the first round. So we won by two games. I'll take it. All three had the same wins. We just had more overtime losses, which is not terrible. We'll take it. Calgary did very well. Uh, we had three goals for, so we dropped off there by a half goal a game. Could have used uh, Patrick Kane. Uh, goals against, 2.5. Not bad. We'll take it. Power play was 20%. Same as everyone else. And our PK was 85. Not bad. Quick stat summary here. 65 points was our leading scorer in 80 games for him. 65 for Duchesne as well. No 30 goal scores, just three 29s. That sucks. Oh well. All right. Uh, 
Gautier, 52 points on the third line. That's huge. Hopefully he grows a bunch. Uh, Sorella had 46 on the third line. That's not bad. Tangay, 51 on the second is understandable. Vigorous at 17. Or Bieksca, sorry. Purcell had two goals, and that's it for points. Not bad. All right, let's check out goalies here. Two shutouts each. I would have liked to see them play better in net, but that's all right. All right, let's see. For wins, 39. Nedlikovic, most wins. Dubnik had 38. Arkipov, 37. Not bad. Not bad at all. Simeon Varlamov over there for Carolina. Got them in. Same thing with Picard. Interesting. Isn't Washington playing Carolina? I think so. That'd be interesting if the two uh, former... Uh, Former Avalanche were playing against each other. Here you go for goal or for defenseman Oliver Ekman Larson, 76 points. Borman, who's a 93 franchise, geez. PK Subin at 56. Maybe we should have picked him up, like I'd said earlier. That's all right. Who had most goals? Looks like 23 for Borman and Boucher. Woohoo! Gilbert Boucher. With 23 goals is a probably a second top oh top four D man interesting. All right, well there you have that. Let's see our forwards next. John Tavares had 51 goals, of course. He's a very good player. And for points, looks like he took it as well. Yeah, 105 cools with 100. Interesting. And JT Miller, McCain, Arakpozo, Ak Sam Reinhardt. Very interesting. Max Pacioretty. There you go. All right. In the next episode, we will be going on to the first round against the Arizona Coyotes. So thanks a lot for those of you watching on YouTube. Take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus underscore driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All those spell within... S3 L3 US. That's how you spell the bus. Sorry about that. Um, other than that, I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be back for the first round. Stick around. I'll see you in just a bit. Take care.